But it is interesting that in this case, what they got was a tank that was um, incredibly easy to drive, um, particularly with the hydro pneumatic um, yeah. transmission. Uh, Chris Lightning. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it, it, it reduced crew training time significantly, which is a real... Which means um, you didn't have to... When you don't, don't have to double clutch your uh, your gear changes every time you mm -hmm. want to change gears up or down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you just basically put it in and then the engine will change gears and when you get to the right speed. It makes life a lot easier for a tank driver. Um, it could... Uh, it was a... It was being a light tank, it would uh, had a good little turn of speed up to 60 k's an hour uh, on road. Um, however, it was very limited in its range to begin with, uh, with only a hundred kilometer range. Which for a tank that ended up in a scout role because it was a light tank, mm. its range was a, an enormous liability. Yes. It, it, it... Even when you, I mean, yes, they uh, did start strapping on external fuel tanks. However, stopping to uh, refill that when you're on the advance or when you're screening, uh, you're either an advancing force or a, re um, or chasing down a, re a retreating force doesn't do you any good um, well when you're a scouting force and living and dying by your speed and your ability to not be there when trouble starts having to stop and get out of the tank and do anything 